Thunder roars, what do we do? Go indoors! We go indoors, perfect. He loves talking severe storm safety with local schools, students like the third graders you just heard from from Mount Hope Elementary. As Severe Weather Awareness Week continues right now, Megan takes a closer look at lessons learned from deadly tornadoes. Protecting yourself during a tornado warning or high winds is simple. These third graders know what to do. Then you should probably go to your basement. Has anybody heard that bathrooms are a safe place? Yes. They're typically small and the plumbing helps to add structural strength to the room. No matter where you find yourself, lowest floor, no windows. You want to put as many things between you and what's blowing around out there as you possibly can. Crouch down and protect your head and neck from falling debris. And you don't want to be caught out on the road. Back in 1991 in Wichita, Kansas, a news crew trying to outrun a tornado took shelter under an overpass just like this one. Get up under the girder. After that video, a lot of people thought this was a safe place to hide. Fast forward a few years to May 3rd, 1999, and people actually left their houses in Oklahoma City. And sh they, they, they went and sheltered underneath these overpasses, and a lot of them died. <laughs> that news crew, teacher, and two daughters were lucky. It was a weak tornado. In a stronger tornado, the shape of the overpass actually enhances the wind speed, and you could get sucked right out. So if there's a gas station, if there's some restaurant, somewhere to pull off and run into, that is ideal. You don't ever want to be in a car.